While ironing your uniform, it's always a good idea to use a pressing cloth. This will prevent your uniform from burning or becoming shiny. You could use anything such as a pillowcase, a thin towel, a cloth, or even a paper bag. While ironing your pants, you want to be sure to get out all of the wrinkles and get a nice crease all the way up and down the center of the front and back of the leg. Remove the pockets before ironing to prevent pocket lines and use water to make better creases and have smoother ironing. Flip your pants over and do the same thing to the other leg. Always make sure to iron over the same crease so you don't get double creases. You also want to make sure that your pants are lint free. While ironing your dress shirt, you want to get a sharp crease down the center of each sleeve. Again, use water to help make the creases. You will also want to iron the front, the back, and the collar of the dress shirt to remove any wrinkles. Starch can also be used on the collar to help keep it stiff. Just like the pants, you'll want to lint roll your dress shirt too to make sure it's free of lint. While wearing your tunic, it's always important to make sure that your belt is centered, there are no bulging items in your pockets, it's lint and wrinkle free, and there's no creases in the center of your sleeve. While polishing your boots, the welts can be cleaned and blackened using a brush such as an old toothbrush and a little bit of polish.
When polishing the actual boot itself, be sure to use a combination of water and polish and use small circles for your polishing technique. Be sure to polish the entire boot. The boots must be straight laced, and while you're wearing the boots, make sure to tuck in your laces.